Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, for quite some time, I have been warning about on my channel, the rise of an international new world order that would rise out of chaos. In fact, I've been telling you that they have been waiting for the perfect crisis to seize up the opportunity to take control of humanity. And with this COVID-19 pandemic wreaking havoc, not only on lives globally, but also on our economic system, it seems like the perfect opportunity for this globalist organization to strike and usher in their communist socialized agenda of control. In fact, they've been talking about this order for a long time. And I believe the video that I'm about to show you is a stark reminder. Take a listen to those clips. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. I think its task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. It isn't just a crisis. With the end of the Cold War, Henry Kissinger pointed out in his superb book on diplomacy, he said, None of the most important countries which must build a new world order have had any experience with the multi-state system that is emerging. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions or on so global a scale. Nor has any previous order had to combine the attributes of the historic balance of power system with global democratic opinion and the exploding technology of the contemporary period. That was written in 1994, and it may be even more relevant today. Folks, there is a new world order that's being created. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order can emerge, a new era, freer from the threat of terror, stronger in the pursuit of justice, and more secure in the quest for peace have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. We seek to establish a new world order. Why then are we using tools from the old Cold War order? With the gentleman yield. Either there will be a new world order where countries will hang together to stop aggression by use of economics, by the use of embargoes, by the use of negotiations, by taking all of our talent and all our creativity and all of our might to solve this peacefully, or there will be a old world order where Americans end up dead, our economy ends up broke, and our government deep in debt. And then the third great reality, which defines our historical and geopolitical context, is a new phenomenon which I have been trying to emphasize in some of my writings and which I call the global political awakening. We meet here at a moment of testing for Europe and the United States, and for the international order that we have worked for generations to build. As you just saw, the New World Order agenda has been in place for decades. In fact, more recently, the mayor of Chicago made an announcement that she believes we shouldn't hire anyone unless they pledge allegiance to this global international order. Take a listen. You gotta eliminate that compliance and you make a mandate um, and then you do training, particularly in the city, I'll call them licensing departments, whether it's zoning, buildings, um, housing will be impacted by it, planning certainly. Um, and it's and you and you pick the people that run those agencies and the deputies that are pledging allegiance to the new world order and good governance. And then I think you have the inspector general. As you clearly just heard, the mayor of Chicago wants allegiance pled 
to a global new world order. Now, fact checkers are trying to come and say, oh, it's false because it's taken out of context. But is it really? You see, that's not the only thing that was said by our leaders. How about the fact that Joe Biden, a presidential candidate, told the class of 2020 that they should be global citizens and they are likely to usher in that error? Take a listen to that clip. Some of you redef will redefine what it means to be a global citizen and lead the way in uniting people regardless of age, gender, race, or zip code. We have a real opportunity to come out of this crisis stronger than we've ever been. I don't know about you, but I want nothing to do with a globalist body trying to dictate rules and regulations over somebody that we, the American people, haven't elected. You see, the agenda of the global order has been one that's been going on for years, and they're doing everything in their power to accomplish that agenda. In fact, I've got 10 little secrets that the global order is keeping from you in which they want to implement on humanity. Secret number one, how about the fact that you will own nothing and have no privacy under this order? You see, under communist and socialist rules, the government owns it all. So you pledge allegiance to them as they cut your paychecks and pay for your health care and everything in this new socialized world. That does not sound like something I want. Number two, there will be a global identification card and possibly even later or will be later, not possible, a microchip implant. This is something detailed very clearly in the Agenda 2030 policies. You see, the ultimate goal is to have that global ID card, which right now, they're already talking about global immunization cards. This is right along that same line. Secret number three, there will be a global currency, and they're likely going to link it to your card and eventually your microchip implant. Secret number four, they will force you to take vaccines. <laughs> what else is going to accomplish that agenda than some kind of global pandemic? Secret number five, you will be forced to follow Agenda 2030's policies and rules. Secret number six, you will be forced to comply to a green agenda. Secret number seven, Enemies of the global order, those who speak out against Agenda 2030, against the New World Order, they could be jailed, fined, re-educated, killed, censored, and the list goes on. Even now, they're censoring us for speaking out against their order. Secret number eight, media is already under globalist control. Secret number nine, there will be no more borders an open world for global citizens. And 10, and final, there will be no more guns for the average person. The guns will be in the hands of our globalist leaders. Obviously, the list could go on and I could add more, but there's the 10 major secrets of the globalist international body. Anyhow, as a quick reminder, I want to encourage you guys, please get on over to restrictedrepublic.com. Right now, we have an amazing special. If you use the code BAND, you can get 25% off either the yearly or the monthly subscription, with, which brings it to an amazing offer. Your uh, gain, our loss. But also wanted to tell you at one o'clock today, Pacific Standard Time, we are going to be doing a live stream event for all our Restricted Republic audience. So sign up today and take advantage of that. Anyhow, I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.